What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'm back with a 5-in-1 tutorial video. Today I'll be showing you how you can delete and clear your cache slash browsing history on, as far as I know, all of the major browsers including Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer and the brand new Microsoft Edge Chromium Beta. So of course, if you have a particular browser in mind, make sure to check the description down below for a timestamp that you can click on and skip straight to that part of the tutorial. But we'll be starting off with Google Chrome because arguably it's the most popular. So inside of Google Chrome, if you head across to our website, you can hit Control H, which brings up your history and you can see a complete list of your history over here. To clear this, you can simply click the three dots and remove sites one by one. You can check the multiple ones by hitting the checkbox and hitting delete. Or to clear all of them, simply hit the hamburger button in the top right, the three dots. Then we'll head across to settings. And the easiest way to do this, we'll scroll down past appearance and we'll go to advanced. And the first section under advanced is privacy and security. Over here, we have a clear browsing data, which we can click on and we can choose to delete the browsing history, cookies and other site data, as well as cached images and files. Now, of course, if you clear your history here and you're logged in with a Google account, it'll also clear it on the Google servers, though I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Hitting the clear data button will get all of your browsing history off of your PC and possibly your Google account. I think it does. And it may take a while to complete depending on how many sites you visited. Tabbing back into our history tab, you can see nothing appears here, meaning that we've successfully cleared our history. Of course, if you don't want to save history in the first place, hit Control Shift N to bring up a private browsing window, which doesn't save history at all, or hit the three dots and go to new incognito window. Next up, we have Firefox. Heading across to a website to get it into our history, I'll hit Control H, which will bring up the history on the left hand side of my computer. If we head under today, you can see what we visited over here. Now, of course, to get it out of here, you can right click on the item and go to delete page. An easy way to clear everything, hit the hamburger button in the top right, the three lines, head across to options. And once we're on this page, we'll head across to privacy and security. We'll scroll down to cookies and site data. And from here, you can clear data and you can choose to clear cookies and site data as well as cached web content. So I'll clear that. However, that is not clearing our history. Clearing the history is done down here. Firefox will remember history. You can choose it to never remember or use custom settings and you can clear the history using this button over here. I'll hit clear now. And as you can see, my history has now cleared out. Of course, if you don't want to save history at all, you can hit Control Shift P to bring up a private browsing window or you can hit the hamburger button in the top right and hit across to new private window. Next up, we have Opera. Heading across to a page in Opera, we'll get it into our history. So I'll hit Control H to bring up the history. And as you can see, they're over here. I can hit the X in the far right to get rid of individual entries. And here it is a lot easier to clear your browsing data because it's in the top right of this history page, which we pressed Control H to get to. After clicking that, you'll see this over here. And there is another way to get here. If we hit the hamburger button in the top right, these three bars, we can scroll down to clear browsing data, which is fourth from the bottom, and it'll take us to this page. But I'll be doing it with the hamburger button, scrolling down to clear browsing data. I'll click that and I'll get this pop up over here. Time range, I'll choose all time, browsing history, cookies and other site data, as well as cached images and files. Clear data and poof, they're all gone. Checking our history tab, you can see it's completely empty. Great. Next up, Internet Explorer. Now, of course, you probably won't be using this browser. You should much rather be using another browser like Firefox, Chrome, etc., etc. Mostly because of this reason here. It sets your homepage to MSN, which I know you can change, and you'll often get pop-ups like this. I'll head across to google.com. Just to add it to our history, if I hit Control H, you can see the history pop up in the very far right, where we can check by week. So last week, today, probably last month, etc., etc. And to clear it from here, it's a little bit more confusing. All we need to do inside of Internet Explorer is hold down Control, hold Shift and press Delete. And it'll bring up this page over here, which is a lot easier than doing it other ways. Of course, if this doesn't bring the pop up, you can hit the settings button in the top right, the little cog wheel, head across to Internet Options, head into the General tab and then under Browsing History, we'll hit the Delete button underneath and it'll bring us back to this page. From here, I'll click download history and you can check the rest of these, but I'll leave them as is. I'll hit delete. Okay. And if we hit control H to check our history, you can see it's completely empty. 
Next up, we have the new Microsoft Edge Beta. If you'd like to know how to get this, check the description down below to know how to do it. Basically, it's the same as Google Chrome, most likely because it is a reskinned Google Chrome built by Microsoft. All we need to do is hit the three dots in the top right, head into Settings, Privacy and Services on the far left. We'll scroll down to Clear Browsing Data, and we can click Choose What to Clear, check everything we want, and hit Clear Now. It works the same as Google Chrome, where if you head to a site, it's added to your history. You can press Control H to bring up this window over here, and you can check a complete history of all the pages you've visited. Hit X next to it to get rid of it. To select multiple pages here, unlike Chrome, there's no checkboxes, but you can click somewhere where there's not text to select one, and you can start clicking around to highlight more. Of course, you can also hold down Shift to select everything within a range. And once you've selected multiple ones, you can hit the Delete button to get rid of them as such, but of course, heading into your settings and using this clear browsing data page over here will make it a lot easier to clear everything. So clear data, heading back to history, it should be completely empty, but it's not. We'll head back to settings, choose what to clear, and we'll change it from last hour to all time, clear now, and there we go, we have a completely clear history. It works the same as Chrome, where you can hold down Control, Shift, and hit N to open up a private tab that doesn't save your history. You can also open it by hitting the three dots in the top right and heading across to a new in private window. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Ben Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.